Welcome to this Wednesday morning real estate bulletin. The main points are Mumbai is in for a change in the next few years. The eastern waterfront of the city has never had quite the allure that the western seafront has had. The Mumbai Port Trust is giving finishing touches to a master plan that will completely revamp the land along the eastern waterfront. One of the key features of the plan is a 7 km long marine drive between Mazagaon Dock and Vadala, nearly twice the length of the Queen's Necklace in the west. Once the eastern waterfront development plan is finalized, tenders for the project will be floated within one year and the project is planned to be completed in the next five to six years. State-owned construction firm NBCC has signed an agreement with Mauritius government to develop a social housing project worth Rs 150 crores to be completed in 18 months. The Pune Metropolitan Regional Development Authority has decided to train builders and architects seeking building permissions in properly drafting proposals and submitting them in the prescribed format. With many proposals falling short of the requisite data and being rejected, the PMRDA will conduct the training program throughout the year in batches. As we had reported earlier, the Supreme Court had ordered the attachment of prime Ambe Valley property in Pune of Sahara Group. On Tuesday, the Apex Court said that it would direct auction of the property if the company failed to deposit Rs 5,000 crores of the Rs 14,000 crores outstanding by April 17. Clearing the way for completion of the long-delayed Dwarka Expressway, the Punjab and Haryana High Court on Tuesday disposed of a petition against allotment of plots to the Austies who do not have proper property documents. The Haryana Urban Development Authority now aims to give the possession of the plots by April 10. That's all in today's bulletin. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow morning. Good day.